Welcome to Mojo Plays, and today we're looking at 10 cancelled games you can actually play. Before we begin, we publish new content all week long, so be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we'll be going through games that were never officially released, but can still be played through other means, no matter the state of the game. Have you played any of these lost games? Head to the comments and let us know. Do you understand? Saints Row Undercover. My English must not be as good as I thought it was. It sounded like you were giving me an order. In 2009, Volition outsourced a PSP port of its popular game, Saints Row 2. But when that proved an impossible task, the game took a new form and spin-off Saints Row Undercover. It would eventually get cancelled when Volition believed it didn't meet the standards of the main series. However, in 2016, some development team members rediscovered the project on an old PSP dev kit. And after streaming it so fans could get a look at it, they uploaded the entire prototype online. It requires a PSP emulator or a modded PSP to work, and it naturally isn't without flaws. But it's nevertheless a cool bit of almost forgotten video game history. Beyond Zero Tolerance In the early 90s, most FPSs were born on PC before receiving console ports. But one that could only be found on the Sega Genesis was 1994's Zero Tolerance. Set in a future colonized solar system, it follows a group of commandos fighting against an extraterrestrial threat. It reviewed well enough to warrant a sequel, but sadly, Beyond Zero Tolerance would never see the light of day. At least not officially. Over a decade after cancellation, Randall Rice, founder of developer Technopop and producer on Zero Tolerance, uploaded the sequel's ROM online for free. And as an extra treat, he also uploaded the original game's ROM for players to enjoy. The California Raisins, The Grape Escape. There was a time when food mascots starred in their own games, from Chester Cheetah to 7-Up's Cool Spot. But one that was never officially released starred the California Raisins. The platformer was essentially finished, having received a dedicated review and tips in Game Player's Encyclopedia of Nintendo Games Volume 3. Planned for an early 90s release, publisher Capcom canceled the title due to a decline in popularity. Although, the high production costs for other California Raisin-themed content and merchandise didn't help the mascots. A prototype cartridge resurfaced in 2003 during a chance encounter at an old video game store, and the new owner nicely chose to upload the game online for everyone to experience. BioForce Ape This action side-scroller from the now-defunct SETA Corporation would have put players in the shoes of a genetically altered chimpanzee. The ape would navigate obstacles and fight enemies using pro-wrestling-inspired attacks to rescue his adopted human family. Even for early gaming days, that is one bizarre premise. What's also strange is how the game was showcased in Nintendo Power right before its cancellation for unknown reasons in 1992. It wasn't until 2010 that a prototype version appeared in a Yahoo Japan auction. Lost Levels, a site dedicated to unreleased video games, purchased the prototype for around $2,700 and uploaded it online for everyone to enjoy the monkey business. Time Diver, Eon Man. Another cancelled game showcased heavily in Nintendo Power was Taito's time diver, Eon Man. The action side-scroller followed Dan Nelson, a man whose descendant put an end to crime. But with a time-traveling organization out to kill him so that his descendant is never born, Dan traveled through time himself and used a variety of unique power-ups to stop them. In the February 1993 issue of Nintendo Power, the game received a four-page strategy guide including tips and level layouts. Time Diver was scheduled to release later that year, but for unknown reasons, it never did. Luckily, various prototypes have been uploaded online, showing that it was almost complete. Ghost 
GoldenEye 007 Remaster. GoldenEye 007 for the N64 is one of the most influential FPSs ever made, but it hasn't exactly aged well. In 2007, developer Rare sought to rectify that and began developing a remaster for the Xbox 360's arcade. However, with only two months left of development, the project hit a massive roadblock. The team had begun work on the remaster before securing the rights, which were tied up with Nintendo, Activision, and the film rights owners, MGM. This would be the game's death, which is really unfortunate considering it would have added leaderboards, online multiplayer, and new stages. Although footage from various sources have been uploaded over the years, the remaster leaked online as of February of 2021. Thrill Kill Begin. Violence and sexual content in video games will forever be a hot button issue, but when it came to this 1998 BDSM themed fighter, EA wanted nothing to do with it. Thrill Kill featured eight incredibly twisted characters forced to compete in a fighting tournament to escape hell. Publisher Virgin Interactive actually wanted developer Paradox to make the game as controversial as possible as it believed that would help with sales. However, this backfired when EA acquired Virgin Interactive months before the game's release. Upon evaluation, EA cancelled the game and refused to sell it to another publisher due to its content. The game, which was reportedly 99% finished, was eventually uploaded online by its developers where it can still be played through emulators. Dinosaur Planet Nintendo has tried to reinvent Star Fox more than once, though the most famous instance came from the death of a new IP. Originally in development for the Nintendo 64, Rare sought to create an action-adventure game in the vein of Ocarina of Time. A couple of years into development, Nintendo noticed that the protagonist of Dinosaur Planet, Saber, looked an awful lot like Fox McCloud. Rare and Nintendo decided to transform the game into the next Star Fox entry, as it would likely draw more players in. Production then switched to the GameCube, with much of what Rare had made being scrapped. Forest of Illusion, a group dedicated to preserving Nintendo's legacy, obtained and uploaded a late build of Dinosaur Planet in February 2021. Warcraft Adventures, Lord of the Clans. Just relax. Before the hour's up, you'll have a great weight off your shoulders. <laughs> your head! <laughs> Blizzard's Warcraft franchise has received a plethora of tie-ins and spin-offs over the years, though not all of them were officially released. In the late 90s, Blizzard began development of a point-and-click adventure game called Warcraft Adventures Lord of the Clans. It followed Thrall, an orc raised as a human lieutenant's slave who escapes and attempts to reunite with his people. The game was essentially finished by its mid-1998 cancellation, with Blizzard believing it to be too outdated and linear. Fan backlash to the decision surprised Blizzard, who chose to incorporate aspects into the 2001 novel, Warcraft, Lord of the Clans, as well as World of Warcraft. While game footage leaked online over the years, a playable version of the game didn't make its way online until 2016. A hero should always have a set of these. Resident Evil 1.5 Resident Evil has had its fair share of cancelled projects, such as a Game Boy Color port of the first game and a GBA port of its sequel. However, the original version of RE2 takes the cake. The initial version of the sequel was very different from what would be released, from story events to playable characters to level design. At around 60 to 80% completion, Capcom scrapped it, feeling that it wouldn't live up to the original. However, Several builds of the game have found their way online over the years, with one receiving dedicated fan input to create a more polished game. For anyone interested in the history of Resident Evil, it's an interesting look at what could have been. Jack 
check out these other great clips from Mojo Plays. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos.